Dale, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Used to be a fortress a long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Quartermaster, he's just a bit to the northwest. Probably in his tent. He and Tern Logain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes, even without his bodyguard, drives Tern Logain wild, that does. A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy, quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. Well, you heard what he said. This is Ferelden, isn't it? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the dark spawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. Apparently people just like having dead cats around. Seems normal to me. Go on, then. Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the royal encampment. Most kind of. of your fellows are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. I've heard a different variation of it, but more or less, yes. It, it kind of really is. Yeah. Uh, some people say... Uh, replace dead cat with something else, but... Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Good luck to you, then. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I suppose I do, but it wouldn't be prudent to discuss the King's business with you. I believe he's with the Grey Wardens in camp, drinking. He holds them in high regard, you know, as his father did. As you wish. You approach the tent of Tern Loghain. State your business. He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly, he and the King have been arguing for days. The Tern's known the King since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Tern speaks his mind, and the King yells right back. Personally, I think the King should do what Tern Logang tells him. Without the turn, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Don't be absurd. He can't give an audience to everyone who walks up here, you know? Very well. Uh, sometimes you never know. People are strange, strange things. Look carefully, man. This wretched thing is a darkspawn. They're strong and cunning and smart, but don't listen to those old wives' tales. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your throat. We've lost many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a long and painful way to die. Hey, 
hail to you. We're doomed, we are. My boots are near worn out. How do you do? Hail to you. Turn Logain's men well, are up to something Lord. in the Tower of Ishal. Make a watch over I wonder you, what Lord. it's all about. Well, don't touch the carcass. We'll be burning it so it doesn't infect anything. Okay. Bella, no. Get over here. Get over here. You were literally out as we woke up. This is supposed to be the battle that sends these darkspawn back underground. Do you believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect time to get drunk, if you ask me. Be a sub to your channel, perf. There are lots of dogs spawn, different kinds. We stand here in this hour, good folk of Ferelden, and we contemplate the death that may await. Death hey, you're is cute. No failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the maker in the land beyond the fade, he shall not find you wanting. Go not into death gladly, but with the knowledge that evil has been held at bay by your spilled blood. And if you go to stand beside the Maker, go with our blessing, for you shall not be forgotten. My friends, let us bow our heads and remember those who have fallen and those who have yet to fall. Yeah, some women are. Hey, Cass. Well met. Shh, I'm trying to listen. She's not if talking. Excuse me, we are praying. How do you do? Aren't we receiving a large number of reinforcements from the Grey Wardens in Orlais soon? Quiet. I'm trying to listen. Hail, Grey Warden. Okay, so you all don't say anything important. Uh... Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynn, one of the mages summoned by the king. Uh, well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. We'd we'll be fighting besides the king. It's not luck, but skill that will save us. And I'm sure you have plenty of that to offer. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Uh, you've faced the Darkspawn before? Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? We call it the Beyond, but I know of no connection. Or is the Fade... What does the Fade have anything to do with this? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, Others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. What's the Black City? Uh, so Darkspawn are just dream spirits? Sadly, no. They are kin to neither the gentle Fade spirits nor the malevolent demons. Shamefully, they were once the souls of men. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. Well, I got more stuff for my wheel. I'm still waiting for more stuff to come in. I ended up spending like... $250 or so. On more stuff for the wheel. How you doing, Link? And is that true? 
It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Don't you have any proper advice? I'll just kill every dark Advice? Never. You young ones know all there is to know about the world anyway. Why would you need advice from an elder? But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Maker above, hear the prayer as of your sons and daughters. We who betrayed your prophet Andras, they now beg your forgiveness. Do not abandon us in our dark hour. Okay, what's that? So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you... You there, Elf. Where's my armor? And why are you dressed so preposterously? Are you mistaking me for a servant? Because I'm here be to become a great warden? How dare you address me so human? How dare you address me so human? What? Oh, uh, you're the one who arrived with the Grey Warden. I, uh, please forgive my rudeness. There are so many elves running about, and I've been waiting for. Oh, I've simply been so hectic. Uh, I never thought. Okay, that's please, just racist. Pardon my terrible manners. I, uh, I am just the quartermaster, a simple man. No one special. You're about ready to say we look all the same, weren't you? Perhaps you should treat your servants more kindly. Yeah, yes, of course, you're very right. Uh, did you come for some supplies, perhaps? Well, let me know what you'd like. Nah, he could be useful. Uh, buy that. That took, like, all my money. Oh, I see. I definitely need to save up for that then. Oh, and that. Okay, so that's my path. Okay, I got it. Yeah, that's no feel. Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some darkspawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Oh well, too bad. Uh, yes I did. I'll be getting it in quarter two. Or at least the invite to purchase it, because it doesn't guarantee you'll get it. Hey, Hippo. That course of action is inadvisable. Welcome, young man. Uh, no, I didn't, Reginald. Mr. Hippo. Uh, because you can only pre-order one, and this was to prevent uh, scalpers from just buying up however many they wanted. So, I'm buying one for me. Who are you? I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the Circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the Circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. 
You speak very strangely. Why is that? What is enchantment exactly? It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff, or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the tranquil to work with lyrium so. A true mage could not. You, you misheard me, Hippo. I said Splenda Daddy, not Sugar Daddy. What's the difference? Uh, basically, I'm exactly what a Sugar Daddy is, but without the money. What sorts of enchantments are there? Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Because magic is powerful and dangerous. It is dangerous beyond its power. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirit. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to... Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. Sounds like a horrible practice. Perhaps they should tranquil all mages then. How is someone made tranquil? I feel badly for you. I feel badly for you. You do? I feel nothing. As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive, productive, and no danger to- oh, That pretty face could be decorating some dark corn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Oh well, too bad. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the Revered Mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The grumpy one. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. You're a very strange human. I know exactly what you mean. That's a terrible thing to say. You're a very strange human. You're not the first to tell me that. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. We haven't met yet. You must be Alistar. Uh, don't worry, I'm no mage. Well, would that make your day worse? Hardly. I just like to know my chances of being turned into a toad at any given moment. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit. The Dalish. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. Did Duncan mention me? Nothing bad, I hope. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Um... What can you tell me about this joining? Honestly, nothing. Uh, try not to worry about it. 
it will just distract you. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? Yes, just recently. I've only fought them once up close. And that was before the battles here started, which Duncan has kept me out of so far. Tell me, did you find them as monstrous as I did? You'll be at an advantage then. Most new recruits have never even seen Darkspawn. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are. Which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. You're a mage hunter? What's a Templar? You don't know? Quick version then. The Chantry tries to control mages because they're dangerous. So they keep Templars that train to hunt down and kill apostates. That's what I was being trained as when Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger. And the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech. You don't have to accompany, do you? Don't worry. I'll try not to embarrass you. Davith and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? Keep an eye out. Maybe we'll see one of them. You do? Huh. That's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Well, you're not controlling them, party members, according to tactics you set. Left it, kick it, left, left clicking. Okay, now open the tactics stream by clicking the highlight icon or pressing. Ah, tactics. Um, you can use the conditional tactics slot to design custom behavior for each character or simply select preset tactics. Change Alistar's presets to defender. Screenshot. Whatever. Okay, so go back to you and head back down. Also, save. There's so much to do before the battle. I must attend to my duties or I'll get the switch. It's good to see more elves in the camp. That's better. That's better. Can't clip that. And that's better, so we'll leave that for now. Hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. We who betrayed your prophet Andraste now beg your forgiveness. Yeah, Ashley, how are you? Our darkest hour. Water, Watch thank over you, Crimson. Watch over the valiant King Kalen and guide him as he faces this terrible evil. 
Watch over Terran Logain and give him the wisdom to bring us victory against the Scourge of Shadow. Watch over Ferelden, the homeland of Holy Andraste. Keep her people safe from the Darkspawn. Let us bow our heads and offer prayers to the Maker, that he might find us worthy. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I suppose I do, but it wouldn't be prudent to discuss the King's business with you. I believe he's with the Grey Wardens in camp. As you wish. Okay, that was you. Uh... You approach the tent of Terran Loghain. State your business. He's inside, but I don't think it's my place. I suppose the Terran... Personally, I think the King should do what Terran... Don't be absurd. He can't give an audience to everyone who walks up. Very well. So tired. I am tired too. I'm always tired though. Look carefully, man. This wretched thing is a dark spawn. They're strong and kind and smart. But don't listen to those old wise tales. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your throat. We've lost many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a long and painful way to die. This is supposed to be the battle that sends these Darkspawn back underground. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect time to get drunk, if you ask me. Second. Or make up for a co clerk or quitting yesterday. darkness, yet shall the Maker's light be my guide. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Mm, take. Okay, what I have is better, but I'll still take that. I'm going. And take. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the Okay, can't go that way. There were lots of dogs spawned, different colors. Okay, I don't want to talk to you just yet. You there, Elf. What's your name? Uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. Maker's breath, another elf. What do you want? I just want to talk, that's all. I happen to be a Grey Warden human, not some servant. You have a problem with that? Do you have a problem with elves? Not in particular, except for them being so thin-boned. You make good messengers sometimes. Is there something you wanted? We have no time for idle chatter. <laughs> Make it quick. They use scent to distinguish us from our enemies, but the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with Cadiz, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. <laughs> Why? Would you steal our Cadiz and give it to the Darkspawn hordes? Good. I hear death is unpleasant. To scout the wilds and watch the progression of the Darkspawn Horde. 
With luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my hound survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. Darkspawn blood is poisonous, but not always fatal. Those who survive grow immune to its effects. The Wardens say the tainted blood drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today, we hunt and we kill. They fight at our side. We don't fret over their safety as if they were children. My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. But dogs should be loved in a... Traded special. Leave me to my preparation. Solemn time for us. If you have business with the Ash Warriors, I suggest you speak to our commander. Welcome to the King's Camp, Mom. You may not want to remain here long, Warden. Most of these men have been tainted by the Darkspawn blood. He calls. You. You need to convince them. We've got to run. The Darkspawn are coming. Uh, there are Grey Wardens here, you know. We have them on the run, I hear. Why do you say that? I saw them. We're gonna die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. What's wrong with him? Is it possible he has information? The commander who brought him here didn't seem to think so. You... You can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread. Like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's eyes. So let it be. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? I merely pass on the Maker's blessings. He looks kindly on all who will receive him. I'll not discuss politics here. Take your hatred and be gone. Uh, it was just a simple question. Ah, there it was. Uh... Okay, I think I'll clip that. Sorry, the main army camp is off limits for you right now. Out of my sight, heathen. I must perform the I look forward for those to a more glorious battle. Make a more smile. I'm sure of it. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. Uh, tell me why you're in there first. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. Did you desert? I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you gonna think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. I'll see what I can do. 
It matters to me if your cause is just. <laughs> You're a funny one. They wouldn't listen to some elf unless you were volunteering to take my place in here. And it's not as if they're wrong. I probably would have deserted later. Just not when they caught me is all. Hope that doesn't spoil your opinion of me. I'm still hungry enough to eat my shoe. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Uh... They say he was recruited before the war up in Dinnerham. Probably figured he'd never have to fight if he served the king, right? Why does anyone want to desert? Because he thinks he's going to die and he's a bloody coward, that's why. Either that or he's been listening to a bunch of hogwash about how the darkspawn will drag you off and eat you. I want some dessert. Uh, some pie, some uh, cake, some cookies. That, that all seems good to me. Seems a waste for you to guard him all day. I had a chat with him, actually. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. What a surprise. Another innocent prisoner. At any rate, it's not for me to say. He'll get his day to plead his case, or he won't. It's all the same to me. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. So you miss one meal, this man could be hanged soon. So? It's not up to me to make sure he gets fed. Sure. You've got better things to do than speaking to prisoners, I hope. Okay, so what do I do? Uh, wait, journal, right. The hungry deserter. Map. Okay, so where would I get food? Maybe from you? Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> So long as you keep it quiet. Now where can I get food for this prisoner? So? Brought me some food of you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. Hmm. Ten silver. Well, feed him if you want to. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm gonna say it was you. Just so you know. So? Brought me some food of you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Much obliged. You're a kind soul, you are. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you.
Mm. Party members' approval changes based on plot decisions or gifts. High approval provides combat bonuses and possible romance options, while low approval may lead to a party member to desert you. Okay. Save. Hmm. This isn't good. I'd hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. What's the problem? Why would I help you? I don't know anything about dogs. I don't know anything about dogs. It's not what you know so much as what you are, really. This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. Yeah. I, I figured as much. Um. I'll give it a shot. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Bella, get over here. Get over here. Come here. Well done. Now I'm I can here. treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? Might be. There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood red center. Where would I find it? It usually grows in dead wood that collects at the edge of ground pools. Should be plenty this time of year. I'll see if I can find one. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Soldiers are for Elvis. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sajori. A knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this here is Davith, a fellow from Denerim. That's me. I'm a fellow. And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. That's me, the new guy. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. Uh, where we need darkspawn, uh, going to the wilds is a bit dangerous. I'm sure you could have acquired some blood before now. And the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Find the archive in one and three vials of blood understood. Uh, what kind of scrolls are these? Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities, with so many having forgotten their commitments to us. I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. 
Uh, and what if they're no longer there? It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. It will be an overgrown ruin by now, but the sealed chest should remain intact. Alistair will guide you to the area you need to search. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Mako watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Okay. So, journal. I guess I want to head to King's Highway. Oh, maybe it's the wilds. Yeah, that's where I want to go. All right. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Yes, Dad. Uh, save. Uh, water. It's always water with you. more like it. Uh, take. Uh, Y'all got cut, or are you just focused on... Hey, fine. Drag y'all back. Now we reach the point where we basically just want to kill everything in sight.
Who is that? Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting <laughs> band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please, help me. I've got to return to camp. Uh, we can if take you it just back. Bandage me up. I can get back myself. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh. I I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. Overcoming these dangers is part of our test. We're far from helpless here. We'll be fine. You sound like a coward to me. Uh, I still do not relish the thought of encountering an army. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That <laughs> is reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. Okay, so... I uh, map. Okay, so it's revealed Clog of War style, got it. I'm off. members has fallen in combat. He or she has sustained a serious injury. These injuries cause penalties that can only be cured with an injury kit or contain high-level spells. Injury is indicated by a small red icon that you can see above the quick bar when you have injured characters. Select one or the character read. Huh. Coughing. Uh, okay. Crack skull. Dark spawn blood. Nice. Okay. I'm guessing I want to keep going that way, so let's see what is in this area first.
Oh crap. They all died. Oh, well, that sucked. That, that kind of sucked a lot. Breath alert. On it. Yep, I'm gonna have to take it slow and easy. Bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh, did you hear? An entire. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is full. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense dark. You see? That is. That doesn't. Okay, let's go ahead and save this part. You have something. Receive monies. Okay. So I went the, that way the last time and got ambushed by a huge party. Let's try going this way. Maybe it'll be a little bit easier and then I can level myself up some and try and go back. I'm off.
Oh, that... That's pleasant. That That's pleasant. Look there. Poor slobs. That just seems so excessive. Okay, good. All right. Lots of money. Okay, how's everybody doing health-wise? Okay, everybody's full. I came from that direction. So I want to go behind me. Okay, we got wolves. Those are... Those are fine. It's not bad. I'll help. And we'll help. Last will and testament. Fire arrow, okay. Okay, make active. Uh, last will, where is it? Or is it in my codex? Maybe it's in my codex. Last will and testament. This is the last will and testament of Rigby, the mis missionary, proud speaker of the Maker's word. I have come to the wilds to speak the chant, but I fear I will die here at the hands of the Darkspawn. I have all that I came with. I leave all that I came with to my wife, Jetta, should the reader of this note feel charitable. I have buried a sealed lockbox in our camp nestled in the A. To venter ruin in the western reaches of the wild sea. It is my will that this lockbox finds my wife in Red Cliff and that it is sealed shut when it reaches her. To my wife and my son, I apologize that my work has taken me from you, but I know that I die in the service of the Maker. Okay, so I got the dark spawn blood. What was that? I heard that. We're saving.
Okay, where the hell did you all come from? Yeah, whatever. We're alive, that's the important thing. Yeah, the puppies know what they did. They were bad puppies. Oh, more, more hanged people. Uh, that's lovely. Okay, so they said the western reaches, so I'm guessing that's over there. Saving game. I don't like that. 